Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to Wednesday Noonday Intercessory Prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you for being with me today. Hallelujah. For coming together and sharing this opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else. Hallelujah. So I'm truly grateful for you joining me today in this intercessory prayer. As we go, come to lift others up, hallelujah, to be a blessing just as God is a blessing to us. Hallelujah. We just thank you and praise you this afternoon, Father. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm going to ask that you share this video so that others in your circle may see it. Hallelujah. As we stand in the gap interceding on the behalf of those, our country, this world, hallelujah, hallelujah. Pray for peace for all of God's children. Just want to say thank you and praise you. Give you some glory. Give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me at this hour. Yes, Lord. I'm just trying to get my uh, get this shared to other channels. Hallelujah. On Facebook. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Just glorify you. We serve an awesome God and a wonderful God, a mighty God, a loving God, a kind God, and we just want to thank him for who he is and whose we are. Good afternoon, God. Sandra, God, favor me, Sam, for good to see you this afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We just praise you. We just love you. We honor you. Hallelujah. Praising him for who he is and whose we are this afternoon. Yes, hallelujah. I'm trying to find a live video on my phone so I can broadcast it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We lift you up. He is an awesome God. He is a wonderful God. He is a kind God. Okay. Good afternoon, Mary Stacy. Good to see you this afternoon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We just praise you. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are magnificent. Good afternoon to my sister, Tonya. So amazing. Wilkerson, love you, sis. Good afternoon, Robert. God's playing. Wilkerson, Jr. Good to see you, cuz. Hallelujah. Thank you. We just praise you, Father. We love you now. We honor you right now in the name of Jesus. We declare that there is none like you this afternoon, Father. No one that sits high and looks low. No one who loves us like you do. No one who cares for us like you do. You are a good God. You are a great God, great and mighty. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful afternoon. Thank you for this time of intercession, this time, Father, of standing in the gap for somebody else. We just thank you, yeah. praise you. We love you. Hallelujah. We honor you, Father, that there is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you now. Hallelujah. I got a few more. And uh, hey, then we're going to get started. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mitch, Mitch, good to see you this afternoon. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We just come to give God all of the praise, all of the honor, all of the glory. Because there is nobody like God. Hallelujah. When you don't know what to do, you know you can call on the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't make God a last choice. Don't make him a second thought. But put him first in all that you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Last group. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We just praise you. We love you. We lift you up. Hallelujah. We just thank him. Come on, y'all. Let's let's go into prayer. Good afternoon, Sister Odette. Good to see you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. We give you glory and honor. We esteem you high. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing and all that you continue to do. We ask now that as we come together to intercede on the behalf of others, God, that you continue to strengthen us, to stand in the gap. And Father God, we thank you that our prayers, that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. And God, that you will answer them. You will hear us. You will deliver us. You will deliver those we are interceding for. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen, amen, amen. Good afternoon, Ontario Graham, Darlene Bolden, Jackie Raphael. Hallelujah. Thank y'all for joining us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, praise, praise the Lord. I want to read a few scriptures and then hallelujah. We're going to go on from there. First Thessalonians, uh, the fifth chapter. Hallelujah. Verses. Hmm? Verses number 16 through 20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Acts 22. Hallelujah. Actually, I'm just going to read it. It says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all brethren with the holy kiss. Hallelujah. Paul goes on to say, he said, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you right now. As we stand in the gap, Father, we stand in the gap for this nation, for these United States of America. As we stand in the gap for the state of Florida and every state in this country, every island, every territory. Father God, as we stand in the gap for this world, Father. Father, we stand in the lap for those, in the gap for those who've been called to lead on a federal level, a state level, a local level, a, a county level. Father God, we thank you and praise you this afternoon that what you call for, you've already ordained. Lord God, we ask you to be with our president, Joseph R. Biden, and to be with the vice president, Kamala R. Harris. Father God, we pray a hedge of protection all around them as they seek to do your will and your good pleasure, as they seek God to bring unity to this country, as they seek God, hallelujah, to please you and not man. And Father, watch over every leader in authority, God, that is seeking to please you, what is in the government, what is on the jobs, in their homes, in the church, God. Lord, we pray that your kingdom come, your will be done in this country, in this world, as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father God, promotion only comes from you. Except you build a house, Father. We that labor, labor in vain. And Father, we come to pray to you, the only one that can heal and deliver, the only one that can set things right. Father God, for you are a good God and a mighty God, an amazing God and a just God. Lord God, we thank you for the turnaround. We thank you for the turnaround with COVID-19, the turnaround with cancer, the turnaround with diabetes and lupus. Lord God, we praise you right now that you're watching over our brothers and sisters that are doctors and nurses, that are CNAs, that are, hallelujah, hospitals workers, God, our brothers and sisters that are firefighters and paramedics and police officers, God, and caregivers for those with COVID-19 fighting every manner of sickness and disease. Father, we pray for a hedge of protection all around them, all around their families. God, give them renewed strength, God. Hallelujah. Some doctors may be on the verge of quitting or giving up. This has been a long, hard fight. But God, we know that you are still in control. You still have all power in your hand. Give them strength to keep on fighting one more day. God, we thank you right now that you're keeping their families from getting sick from COVID-19 and every other contagious germ, virus, or disease. Lord, we just thank you and praise you right now. Father God, we thank you for comforting families who loved ones have died from COVID-19 and every other manner of death at this very hour, God. Comfort and strengthen them. God, but we know that there are those who know that their family members are not suffering no more because they called on the name of Jesus because they believed in you and your word. And God, we thank you and praise you now in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, Brother Harvey. Good afternoon. Hallelujah to Cousin Tanny. Good to see you this afternoon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good afternoon, Sweetie Pie Williams. Thank you for joining us. Janet Chain, thank you for joining us. Stay safe out there as a police officer. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We love you. We cover them in the blood of Jesus right now. 
Father God, we pray for our brothers and sisters that are police officers, the corrections officers, those who are working in the jails, those working in the schools, those working in the prison system, those working in the parks, hallelujah, those who are working on the streets right now. Father God, we pray for our police officers all throughout this land. God, we know some are not right, but God, you're bringing them out. You're showing the dirt, but God, to those who are doing right and are righteous, those who are, you said, blessed are the peacemakers, we ask that you watch over them and their families, those who are standing, Father, for the oath that they took, we ask you to keep them safe from hurt, harm, or danger, hallelujah, whether it's coronavirus or gunshots or knives, fighting God, we ask you to protect them and watch over them, take them safe to their families today, God, be with those who are going on duty today, Lord God, we thank you for your love that surrounds them at all times, hallelujah, we we plead a shield of faith, a protection all over them right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are interceding first. Hallelujah. On behalf of those, hallelujah, who God tell us to. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for our children, our teachers. Hallelujah. Our homeschool teachers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you parents got to do two roles. You're trying to run a business or you're in school. Hallelujah. You're working from home and yet and still you got to still tend to your children that are at school, at home with you. So we pray that God give you strength, that God give you the strength you need to do your job and to help your children. Hallelujah. Don't get tired, my brother, my sister. God's going to renew your strength like that of an eagle. Hallelujah. School is almost out. You fought a good fight of faith and God is still strengthening you, letting you know you got more than what you know on the inside of you. Look at what you're doing now and we pray that God continue to be with our teachers, be with our children, those that are testing right now. Hallelujah. Watch over the teachers, God, that are caring and loving, who are teaching with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, God. Continue to be with them and watch over them. Continue to protect them. Continue to encourage them to keep teaching the children our most valuable resources, the next generation of leaders. Lord God, we pray right now that the students are obedient, their minds are alert and open to receive instruction. God, we pray for a hedge of protection all around our schools. No hurt, harm, and danger. Be with the bus drivers, God, who are the first contact for most students each and every day. Protect them and keep them safe from hurt, harm, and danger from coronavirus. Father, be with those who are fixing food in the cafeteria. Let them fix and serve that food with love, God. Father, watch over those, God, the hallelujah, the hall monitors. Be with those, God, who are paraprofessional and teacher's assistants. Give them the grace they need to do the job that they're doing. Be with the administrators, God, that they're not worried about test scores and, 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 and scores and all that stuff, God. But they're concerned about the most valuable resources on the campuses, which are the people, the, the teachers and the assistants, the adults and the children, God. Father God, we thank you right now and cover those who are in virtual school. Cover those parents that are teachers in the homes right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 I know many never thought that they'll be at home teaching their kids, but look at what God is doing. He's giving you that relationship. You may not never get this opportunity again to say, hey, I taught my child. I was with my child. Hallelujah. You're going to look back and think, hallelujah. Man, I remember when my child couldn't go to school and I had to help them with this and help them with that. I had to learn what they was learning. But look at you now. Look at your child now. Some of you, because of where you are, your child is on the honor roll because they've been home with mama and daddy and you making them do what they're supposed to do in the classroom. So I salute you this afternoon, mama, daddy, teacher, grandma, auntie, whoever you are working with children right now. God bless you. God keep you. God peace and anointing be upon you. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. This is intercession time, y'all. We interceding. Yeah. Right now, we're going to intercede, hallelujah, for pastors and churches throughout this world. 
those that are called and serving God. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you right now, Father. We come on the behalf, Father, of churches throughout this world who say that they love Jesus Christ, who are serving and loving you, Father. Churches who are standing for unity and not division. Father God, churches who are standing for love and not greedy gain or just money. Father God, churches who are standing to teach and preach and to be an example to others. Churches who are helping others, God, to feed the hungry and close the naked, to house the homeless. Lord God, we pray that you continue to open your windows of heaven and pour out blessings upon blessings upon those churches who are doing your will and your good pleasure. Lord God, we thank you right now that you're blessing the people. You're increasing them more and more so that we keep building the kingdom of God through our time, our talent, our resources, our money, God. Whatever it takes, God, to save one soul is a blessing, God. Father God, we thank you right now that you're watching over pastors. God, pastors after your own heart. Pastors who are loving your people. Pastors who are not preaching and teaching just for money. But pastors who seek to do your will and your good pleasure. Pastors who are not afraid to stand up and speak the truth of the word of God in love with understanding. Lord God, continue to strengthen the pastors, God. Continue to be with the pastors, God. For we know that judgment starts in your house. And you're speaking to the pastors and the bishops and the apostles and the evangelists. You're coming at us first, God, to make sure we're doing the righteous thing so we're not leading your people astray. Lord God, I thank you and praise you right now. You're touching that pastor who's on the verge of suicide. You're touching those pastors who may want to quit right now. Father God, I thank you that you're strengthening their families too, God, to be a support system, God, to do your will and your good pleasure. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's give God some praise for pastors and churches right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lavinia Ray Rowe, thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Sabrina, come in for a minute. Hallelujah. Excuse me one second, y'all. We're going to come back wherever you are. Just pray. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. We praise you right now in the name of Jesus. Since we still interceding, do me a favor. If you have a business, Drop your business name into the comment section. Drop your business name into the comment section because right now we're going to intercede for businesses. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what's going on. God is still able. Yes, amen. God is still blessing. Yes, amen. God is still increasing. Hallelujah. I can tell you right now that I am a witness. I know right now we've been working hard. Hallelujah. Tell me God won't do it. I'm going to tell you right now, the devil is a liar because God will increase you. I believe in what the word says. That whatsoever you do, it shall prosper according to Psalm 1-3. I told you on Monday, meditate on that all, all week long. Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thought to vision. Mitch, Mitch, that's the name of your business. Thought to, thought to vision. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Like I said, if you got a business name, I'm going to call out business names as I see them. When I get ready to start praying, hallelujah, matter of fact, let me type uh, type our business name in here as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we thank you, we praise you. Yeah, I'm going to get there. I'm just waiting on y'all. Give me y'all a little time because I know that this is delayed a little bit. But I want you to type your business name in there. Even if I know it, I still want you to type it in there. Hallelujah. I still want you to type it in there. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Got JSMS Unlimited. Yep, yep. That's the parent company. Harrison Moore Runnings. I see ya. SDS Fragrance Collection. I see ya. Flawless Lips. I see ya. Kiki Sweets and Treats. Oh my God! I, I, I will get one oh man. Let me. She got some great treats, y'all. Oh uh, man, man, she she messed me up yesterday. She gave me some homemade cinnamon rolls, boy, they were so good. Oh, hallelujah! Kiki sweets and treats, y'all need to get the SDS fragrance. They got some good fragrances. I love oils. I, I don't, you know, cologne is good. But I like the oil. SDS fragrance, they got you going. Hallelujah! Contact the Mother's Day is around the corner. Hallelujah. 
Shop for in Dream House. Tamiria Pageant Jackson. We got you. We got you. I'm, be, I'm, I'm calling your name, but I'm be interceding for your business. Hallelujah. All the ones, every name I don't call, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be eating. Further Pool Company. Amen, amen, amen. I see y'all coming. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to get ready to go into intercession. I'm going to give it a few more seconds before I start praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thinking of my calling. Pastor asking in advance. It's real simple. Okay, no problem, no problem. Hallelujah. Look at what you good at. Look at what people ask you to do a lot of. And just think about it this way. Could you take that and turn it into a business? Hallelujah. Look at what you're doing. Look at what you're putting your hands to. Look at what people may be always asking you to do. That could be a business opportunity for you. Hallelujah. I'm going to go on and say this now before I intercede. If you have a business, set it up properly so God can honor you properly. Go into somebiz.org. They got all the stuff there. They're going to tell you, start a business. Click that. It'll walk you through the steps so that you can set up your business. You know, you ain't got to pay thousands of dollars. You know, you can set up your business. You may set up an LLC, a limited liability corporation company. Why? Because you may, it may just be you right now. You don't need a full corporation escort. You can go in there. You set up your company. Listen, you go into the IRS website before I think 8 or 10 p.m. tonight. That's the first thing you do. Apply for your EIN. After you give your business a name, go online. If you do an LLC, it's free. Apply for your EIN. What's that? Employee identification number. This way you're legal now. Then go to Sunbiz because you're going to need that number to put in Sunbiz to show that you have established your business. Okay? Sunbiz is going to charge you. Maybe $61. I don't know. It depends on what type of business you set up. But you set that up. All right then, Jackie. There it is right there. You don't put it down there. So start, start right there. Take your pick, whether it's cleaning, organizing, catering, you do it from there. Or do all of them. You know, you, that could be three different businesses right there. Think of a parent company. That's what my wife typed in. See, I'm just giving y'all some, I don't know why we own this, but I'm just telling you, just like my wife typed in there, we got JSMS Unlimited LLC. What does that mean? That's the parent company. We have another company under that company called Church Chick Tees. What is Church Chick Tees? That's our t-shirt company. Now, we venture off into something else. We'll open up another company under JSMS, whatever that company is. We set up one parent company to run all of the other companies. That's how you do that. That's one way of doing it. Instead of setting up individual businesses, you know, there's some things you do, but... I can, I can just teach a class on this pretty much on some basic stuff to help you get started. Maybe one day I will. Um, but I just want to put that in there. So let me let me just run back through these names that I have so that we can intercede for these businesses. Mitch, Mitch, you got thought to vision. Hallelujah. My wife, Sabrina and I, JSMS Unlimited with our, um, one of our subsidiaries, Church Chick Tees. Jaquia Moore, Kiki Sweets and Treats. Uh, Jaquille Moore again. Um, well, I'm come back. <laughs> you got Material Graham, Flawless Lips, Jaquille Moore, Harrison Moore Runners, Sandra Sample, SDS Fragrance, Tamiria Pageant Jackson. We got uh, Shop for and Dream House, Tanny Pool, Further Pool Company. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I know that there's there's one more. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't see it on here, but I know it's Harvey and Odette Enterprises. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we're going to go with that. We're going to move forward. Father, in the name of Jesus, to come before you right now, interceding on the behalf of these businesses, that what you call for, God, what you call them to do, equip them to do, Father God, that your children are able to do. And your children, Father, they're putting their minds, their hands, their time to doing that, which the gift that you've given them. Not only, God, to prosper them, but also to prosper your kingdom. Lord God, we thank you for the manifold blessing that rests upon their lives. Father, I intercede and pray right now that you will give these business owners insight and education, understanding and favor, that you will open doors with others, God, that will show them favor, that will show them mercy, that will people that will have compassion. And Father, you're bringing clients from the north, south, east, and west. 
Lord God, we thank you, God, that each and every business is, is flourishing in the, in the presence of God. It's flourishing in this world, God. Father God, we thank you right now that these businesses are operating to the point to where they're hiring employees, God. They're owning and operating out of buildings and warehouses. Father God, we thank you. And praise you right now, God, that they not only have one business, but there are multiple streams of income, God, to pass on the wealth to the next generation. Lord God, we thank you right now. Yes, Lord, we thank you right now as we pray for Nikhil Collier's uh, NLC Financial Solution, Odette's Fashion Boutique. Lord God, we thank you and praise you now that what you call for, you've already established. We thank you that many are the plans of a man, but your purposes will prevail. And that these businesses are in the purposes of God on this earth as it is in heaven. And Father God, we thank you right now, Father. We love you and we lift you up. We give you all glory. We give you the honor. We esteem you high. We give you praise. We thank you for unexpected increase from the north, south, east, and west. Lord God, we thank you for divine favor. Father God, I declare... Proverbs 3 and 4 over these businesses that these business owners owners with these businesses will find favor and good success, good understanding in the eyes of God and man all the days long. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen, you can't be afraid to step out. You can't be afraid to step out. My wife is in the background saying you got to market yourself. You got to market your business. Let me tell you something. We started out last year. We had no idea what we were doing. But we just kept trusting God and we, keep move, we kept moving forward. Um. We haven't did it this month, probably won't do it later on, but we, we do an online pop-up shop once a month. We made more in one hour. We made more in one hour than some people made all week on their job. Hallelujah. Business is, I'm just trying to give you all a testimony so you don't give up. We just had to order a hundred t-shirts, additional t-shirts to keep up with the demand that we have because people are calling. But we're trusting God and I'm telling you, trust God. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Step out on faith. The Bible says in Psalms 24, a righteous man will fall seven times, but he'll rise again. Let me tell you something, child of God. Things may seem slow. It may seem like it's, it's not working. It may seem like ain't nothing going right. But I want you to keep trusting God. I need you to keep the faith. Hallelujah. Anytime you feel like giving up, ask yourself this one question. How bad do I want it? That's the question. How bad do you want to get out of where you are? How bad do you want to come off that job? How bad do you want financial freedom? How bad do you want to be able to bless somebody else and it don't hurt you? How bad do you want it? Ooh. This is supposed to be intercessory prayer. Y'all leave me alone. You better obey. How, how bad do you want it? Let me tell you something. I want God bad. That's why I can't leave him. But God has shown me his goodness. Hallelujah. I can't, I'm not going to tell y'all the amount, but when I told my wife how much money we made between January and the end of March for making t-shirts, she said, stop playing. I said, no, this is true. She said, stop playing. I said, I got the bank accounts to prove it. So don't tell me God won't do it if you put him first. On your business, pray over your business before you get started. Thank God for your business. Rejoice for your business. And look, 
Everybody can't handle the prosperity that God has for you. Hallelujah. I just want to put that out there now. Everybody ain't going to be happy the way God is prospering you. So just ask God to show you who's for you and who's not. But I need you, child of God. I need, I wish I could put my hands on you and just put some oil on you. One day I will be able to. But hallelujah. But I need you to understand that what God is calling for you to do, he'll do it if you believe him. He'll do it if you trust him. And you won't give up. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalms 66 that we went through fire and through water. But you brought us out into a wealthy place. I'm here to let you know you're going to your wealthy place if you trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Don't just, don't just think about it. Do something with it. Write you a plan. Say, God, here's what I want to do. I need you to help me. I need you to show me. Ask God to be your guide. Hallelujah. Ask God to lead and direct you on this journey. And watch God work it out. Watch God show out. Hallelujah. So with that being said, I would just want to thank y'all for joining me this afternoon. Oh, man. I just feel so good about that. I feel so good about your testimonies. And listen, I want us to do something. See these businesses that are listed in here? I'm going to ask everybody to go back in and just, just say something about your business so we'll know who we can contact. Put a contact number of how people can get in touch with you to support your business. See, that's one thing we got to do as Christians, as believers. We got to learn to support each other. Yes. It's enough, it's enough money out here for everybody. And we can't be saying this right here. That costs too much. And support other people. Don't Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It don't cost too much. Because whatever you want, you're going to pay for. So I'm here to let you know now. It don't cost too much. You a child of God. Jesus gave his life for you. So, but we need to support one another with these businesses so the kingdom of God can keep advancing. Amen. Because otherwise, we're going to keep giving our money to people who don't believe in God, who don't believe in the church, and won't support the church. So, I'm just putting that out there. Let's support one another. Go back in and look at this. Put a phone number of how people can get in touch with you to support your business. I, I can only talk about some. Talk about the ones that I know right now. I know about Kiki Sweets and Treats. Let me tell you something. Anytime I want some sweets, some good stuff, I ain't got to go to no store. I call her Blueberry Muffins. I get banana, blueberry muffins, banana, strawberry, uh, triple berry muffins. I eat all kinds of cakes and stuff like that. She got a great business. Um, um, Sandra God Favor Me Sample. She's doing fragrances. She's doing oils and stuff like that. Multiple things. You know, candles and different things. She's got that. So get in touch with that. Evidently, um, Nikhil Collier got something dealing with finances. We need to understand finances. We need to plan for retirement if you're still young. You need to plan for things. So you need to have your business on there. There's a business that's not listed because currently she's in the classroom. But Tanya Moore, Tanya Moore will be on here. She's going to be doing tutoring, helping your kids. You know what I'm saying? Invest in your children. There are different things on here. Monteria Graham, where she got like lip gloss and stuff like that. Hallelujah, beauty stuff. You know, we need to get into this, people. We need to support the kingdom of God because these people are going to take money put back into the church to help us build the kingdom. So let's just support one another, and I'm going to close out on that right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Yes, I see Sister Odette says she's buying and selling stuff in Jamaica. So, you know. If you got some old clothes or something, she said, if you know anybody got good cheap clothes and miscellaneous, let her know. 
She'll buy it and then she's going to resell it. But hey, this is a business. And I know she gives to our ministry, so we got to support one another. I guess that's what this last portion is about. Get your credit straight. I think that's Oh, yes. Also, too, if you got bad credit, get your credit straight. Maybe that's what uh, Sister Nakia Collier is doing, helping get your credit straight. But either way it goes, we need to make sure people we doing right so God can increase and bless us. And hey, if you need t-shirts for your business, give us a call. I'm asking my wife to put the number in there for Church Chick Tees. We'll, we'll make t-shirts for you for your business. We'll work with you. Hallelujah. Now, we don't use no, no, no crappy stuff. I'm going to tell you right now. But I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all can call my wife. Uh, I think she's going to put the number in there to, to Church Chick Tees. See somebody right there, so they decorate for parties and weddings. Thank you, Mitch. Mitch, see that? Whoa, we ain't got to go looking. We can refer other people right here to the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Yep, she just put the number in there. So, hey, drop your phone number in this so that people can go back and look through it for today or whatever so that we know. And I'm going to keep praying for your business. I'm going to add it to my prayer envelope. I'm going to go back and I'm going to write your business name down. And I'm going to pray, hey, that God be a blessing to you and your business so you can be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Amen. So I want to give a shout out to everybody that joins us today. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. And hey, I see you join us tonight for Bible study on this very channel. I'm going to mention this again at Bible study tonight. So, hey, with that being said, on behalf of myself, Pastor James, my beautiful wife, my support system on this earth, Sabrina, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, the most beautiful, it's amazing, wonderful, fire baptized, loving church body of Christ on this side of heaven, Peniel Covenant Christian Center family, and of course you, our Peniel Covenant Christian Center Facebook family. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. We'll see you again. Peace. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Hallelujah.